In this tutorial, HTML and JavaScript programming will be used to develop a browser-based calculator that will compute and display the factorial of a positive integer number. To build the factorial web page, I'll be using Visual Studio Code, which has a live server that enables me to view the web page as I write the HTML code. First, I'll create two files named factorial, one HTML file to store the HTML code and the other JavaScript file to store the JavaScript code. Inside the HTML file, we type an exclamation mark and choose the first item in the list. This gives us the overall structure of the HTML code, which has the head tag and the body tag enclosed within the HTML tags. Inside the head tags, we have the title tags, where we can write the main title of the web page, which will appear on the browser tab. Before we start coding, we need to design our web page on paper. First, a main title, then instruction to enter a number. There should be an input field to enter the number and a button to do the calculation. Finally, the result. We need to link the JavaScript file with the HTML file by including this script tag. Now inside the body tags, we create header one tags and within these tags, we write the main header of our web page. Next, we create header 2 tags, and inside we create paragraph tags to add our instruction text. Within the same paragraph, we create an input field by using the input tag. The button tags are used to create a clickable button. Now we create another paragraph tags and add the text factorial equals. To display the result, we need to use span tags. Next, we need to add an ID inside the input tag. We will name this ID num. This ID will be referenced within a JavaScript program. Inside the button tag, we add the instruction on click and attach to it a JavaScript function called factorial. So whenever we click on the button, function factorial will be executed. Now inside the span tag, we add an ID called fact, which again will be referenced by a JavaScript program. Now we finish the HTML coding we go to the JavaScript file and create our factorial function by using the function command. Keep in mind that JavaScript programming is to some extent similar to C++. Inside the factorial function and by using getElementById, we attach integer variable n to id num of the input tag. So now any number we input will be stored in variable n. Now we write the code needed to calculate the factorial of a positive integer number. Again, by using get element by ID, we need to reference ID fact, which is inside the span tag, and copy the computed factorial into it. If 
inner HTML property will return the computed factorial to the inner HTML part of the span tag. And now for a quick demonstration, we'll test the factorial calculator by inputting different numbers. When we input a negative number, the calculator gives us the value 1, which is an error. So we need to go back to the JavaScript code and rectify this problem. Using an if-else statement, when a user inputs a negative number, an error message is displayed. Otherwise, the calculated factorial is displayed. We now test the calculator by inputting a negative number. Next, we modify the factorial function by accepting only integers between 0 and 10. And now for a final testing of the factorial calculator. In my part 2 tutorial, I will use CSS coding to give the calculator web page the design you see here, which is more elegant and colorful. Thank you for watching.